Banggood sent in this JCD8898 hot air and soldering iron rework station for review, so let's check it out. I like how it's compact, so it makes a good low-cost starter unit or a backup unit, and it can easily be carried away for tasks that can't come to the workbench. But let's see how it performs. This is a very lightweight, flimsy stand. It'll get you started, but if there's any tension on the cord at all, definitely get a more solid stand. The base can be wall mounted. This part here can attach to the wall with the screws that came with it. And then the unit slides into the base and it will sit vertically. And you can dock the hot air right here and have the iron on a proper stand somewhere else. Or you can use it flat like this. The two sockets are unique. So the iron goes in one and these thread on so they remain secure. So this iron, it's very lightweight. It has a comfortable grip. This rubberized part right here is especially important for some thermal insulation as well as a solid grip. And the strain relief back here, I like how this seems robust. It doesn't look like it's ready to rip off anytime soon. So I like the overall construction on this. And the hot air is a standard looking unit with a fan back here. It's just got a more of a grommet style strain relief, but it still seems very well made. The three tips that come with this just slide over the top. There's a little indent right there and a matching mark on the tip. So you can just rotate that and eventually it'll slide right into place. We can see here there's a magnet on the side of this stand right here. That works with a switch here so that when this is docked, it will start turning the temperature down and it will keep blowing to purge the hot air out until it's safe enough for it to turn the fan off. And when you are ready to use it again, you can pull it back out and it will start going back up to the set temperature. So that way you don't have to keep turning the power on and off on the side. And there are two power switches on the side. The top one is for the iron and the bottom one is for the hot air. The AC socket is a fused socket, so you can pull that out and replace fuses if needed. While we're here, let's check the grounding from that terminal. So that hot air tip is grounded. The iron tip is grounded. But these exposed metal connectors here are not grounded. So just something to be aware of. It would be nice if these were grounded. The iron uses commonly available 900M style tips, and it comes with one conical general purpose size tip. So if you use this iron with another one you have, what you can also do is use this as surface mount tweezers to get small resistors, capacitors, and things like that with two pins. If you don't want to use hot air for some reason, if there's maybe something fragile nearby that you can't overheat, you can just get in there that way. So it's good to have multiple irons. I'm going to take a spare header on this board and try out the iron and see how it goes. Definitely up to temperature now. Nice new tip. So if I just give this a try. Yeah, that's just going perfectly smoothly. And I'm going to turn this off since I don't trust this stand. <laughs> that went well and was perfectly comfortable like any other iron I've ever used. So I learned if you hold down both buttons here and then power on the iron, you can change between degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. By chance, if it turns out the temperature isn't really correct, we can hold both buttons while it's on and we can do an offset here. So I could change what the display would show, but I don't have a way to measure the tip accurately. So I'm just going to leave it at whatever it's set for. In the meantime, if I turn on the hot air, if I set this, it starts at, it looks like hundred degrees. So I'm just going to bring this up. Let's say 400. There's a fan button. So right now it's at 10, which is the highest. And looks like it goes between five and 10. So it's on a minimum amount. While it's in the stand, a magnet keeps it switched off. So as I set for 400, 
with a fan on full, when we lift it, it should kick in. And there it goes. So it's heating up 200 something, 300 something. And it's definitely already got hot air coming out of there. And if I place it back down, it's cooling down and it will continue purging the hot air until it's safe enough and then it will actually shut off completely. Now it's at 100 and it finally shut off so it stopped blowing air. So that's convenient if I'm going to be working constantly and I want to stop and go grab something. I can just lay this down and I don't have to worry about actually powering it off all the time. So now if I use this metal as just a safe place to be putting a lot of hot air, I'm going to try removing this IC right here. So I get everything ready to go, then just lift this up and it's automatically running. And there we go. Works just fine. So I lay this back on the base. It starts cooling down and it'll take care of itself. So this is definitely a nice little unit for the cost, especially this form factor and how I can choose to mount it up on the wall or something out of the way. I just really <laughs> need to get rid of that stand. So I definitely like this unit. And if nothing else, it's good to have a backup for hot air and a soldering iron. Thanks to Banggood for sending this to review.